today's topic is residual magnetism and current transformers and its effects on the protection system. During the lifetime of a current transformer, many faults have to be cleared in the system. And each of the faults may add some remnants flux to the core due to the DC component of the fault. And likewise, also DC measurements performed on the current transformers may add some remnants as well. Usually during the normal operation, this is not recognizable or predictable. But when the next fault occurs, there may be an over or under functioning of the protection system due to the secondary current not being transmitted correctly by the saturated core of the current transformer. Like this, in a di differential protection scheme, an overfunctioning may occur if one of the CT saturates, the protection may detect a large differential current and thus result in an overfunctioning. On the other hand, in overcurrent or distance protection, there may be an under-functioning. If one of the cores core saturates, there may be no switch off or a delayed switch off or a non-selective switch off due to another protective device taking over. We asked ourselves the question if remanence is a problem and we did a case study with an agent utility where we measure, measured the remnants in some current transformer cores. And as an example, we get a picture like this, where in about half of the current transformer cores that we studied, we measured a significant amount of residual magnetism. And we asked ourselves the question, does residual magnetism remain in the core or uh, does, it, does it somehow disappear over time? And if we provoke residual magnetism in a core and measure how it, uh, if it disappears over time, we see that it goes down somewhat, but certainly not to zero, but maybe down to half. So it stays there. Now, what are the countermeasures that we can take? Firstly, it is highly recommended to demagnetize the core after each DC measurement, which modern current transformer measurement devices uh, can perform. It's, it's a special function. Secondly, it's recommended to use air-gapped cores that can mitigate the remanence. And we can measure and simulate how our current transformer cores perform. And here, for, for such a simulation, we need the, the parameters of the installation. Uh, so certainly the magnetization curve of the current transformer. And ideally, of course, we would like to test with real amplitudes, which is, however, not practical because such a test setup would be too bulky. What we can do, however, is with a portable test device, uh, we can measure the parameters individually. So firstly, we, we may perform a burden measurement uh, and testing all cable connections, including the relay. Then we measure the magnetic performance of the current transformer by measuring the excitation or hysteresis curve and the inner burden of the current transformer. Then we define a representative testing scenario and under certain given primary con conditions. And then we put this data into a software for trends and simulation that is considering our measured CT data. Like this, we can simulate how our CT will perform in certain conditions and thus get a picture how prone a certain setup uh, is to the problem of remnants. Mm -hmm.